My name's Davida Shinsky, and I have a disability known as cerebral palsy, which affects how the brain processes information, and it affects the muscles which affect mobility. I'm a career and personal development strategy coach. Entrepreneurs who are in search of personal development and learning success strategies hire me to overcome their limiting beliefs and de develop healthy habits, a successful mindset, and smart goals. Bottom line, we help you develop a more positive attitude, set achievable goals, and make better choices in your life. My journey to get where I am today was a long and arduous one. I was educated before there were laws in the books that guaranteed people with disabilities the right to an education and employment. Plus, I grew up in a negative environment where there was constantly being told that I couldn't do anything as opposed to being encouraged to overcoming my limiting beliefs and rise above them. Fortunately for me, my personality was such that when someone told me I couldn't do anything, it was like putting a red flag in front of me and daring me to prove them wrong. I was always bullied in school simply because I was different. Now, what's happened is that you still see this going on today. And what I'm going to talk about is the fact that my journey to overcome these limiting beliefs placed on me by society and my family started when, when I entered college where I studied psychology and trained to run groups in transactional analysis, which was founded by Eric Byrne. And in transactional analysis, it talks about the parent who says you should, the adult who says I am able to, and the child who says I want, and psychodrama. And if you don't know what psychodrama is, it's like a scene where you're actually taking a scene from your personal life, and you're working it through with your protagonist, your ultimate ego, which is your, your mirror person, and other people in that, that scene that kind of help you overcome and think about those, those things. So, it, what this did, and I'm going to cut it short that by saying that TA references the way you say things to each other. And there's a book that's called Scripts People Live by Thomas Gordon. And in that book, there's a story that's called The Fuzzy Tale. You've got the father, the mother, the son, and the daughter. And they would go out and give warm fuzzies to anyone they saw at all times. And there was a witch that came along and she was very jealous. So what did she do? Well, she went to the family and she told them, if you keep giving out warm fuzzies, they will eventually disappear. So they stopped giving out warm fuzzies and they started giving out cold, cold, cold fuzzies, false fuzzies, or cold pricklies. And the town started to shrivel up and die. And a hip woman came along and told them that they're, even if they started giving out warm fuzzies, they would never run out. And then the family started giving out warm fuzzies again, and the town started to thrive and grow.